What I can do is like cut in and out as well before I send the final video to the guy and he'll probably want to cut it as well. So that's cool. That is cool. Make sure you look as good as possible. <laughs> what, uh, what are the, what? What are the questions? I'm intrigued. Um, so he hasn't really given me anything, so it's just kind of going to be about, I think, mostly the stigma around women presenting people having short hair. Um, yeah, because apparently, especially in London, it's really difficult for women to go in and actually have barbers. Yes, I have heard this from quite a lot of people, a lot of barbers. Um, well, no, so he, customers who come into work to say, is it like, can I, can I, yeah, it's fine. There is a line, so if you want like um, a style that is more sort of like, you describe it, like pixie kind of bobby colours, honey highlights, not, barb shops are not where that happens. But what we do, skin fades and razor work and clip work, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment, just a floating head. Just a floating head. Just a floating head. Yeah, that's all I am to you. That's all any of you are. We're doing an interview. We're doing an interview. It's okay. Jamie's involved. Yeah, this is fine. Yes, please. Yeah, the usual. It's going to be interesting going to London and finding someone that's up for it, I think. I'm just going to ask, how long have you been living in the same place? Yeah. 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 I think there's yeah. still a lot of stigma around women, at least women presenting people and having a lot of like, short hair. Yeah. I suppose so. But it's just individual style, isn't it? Whatever you're happy with and whatever suits, you know. Um, and it's not all sinful, what you want. Yeah. 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 No one should say, um, yeah. no one should really say, like, yeah. that you can't have something just In my opinion, I could do it. At the end of the day, you're paying me for a service that I'm going to do exactly right. So, yeah. <laughs> do you have any like thoughts or fears that crop up when a well preventing person comes in and wants a haircut? Um, not necessarily. Um, I, I would say that I would check exactly what is wanted before saying yes or no because we have had an awful lot of ladies that come in and then they do want their like, layered bob and honey highlights which for 16 20 pounds which as long as it's a half an hour service that I know I can do within half an hour to the best of my capability then I'm happy with that you know um, so I do I do check and manage expectations. And this I sat in the chair and went, okay, right, I want a full, like, ladies trim with all the bells and whistles. We, um, yeah, just the colour and, you know, the very so we did have a lady message us on Facebook the other day saying, do you cut ladies' hair? And we went, yes. We replied saying, yeah, no problem. But could you just send me a photo of what you're wanting? Because I've not seen this lady in person. Her profile picture didn't give anything away. Okay. So um, I had to make sure she was aware that it is a barbershop and not necessarily a unisex style or not with anything that's defined by her. Like, yeah, yeah. So you said, oh, just send me the style that you're looking for. You said, yeah, no problem, message it back to me. And I said, yeah, fine. <laughs> 
Yeah. And it was a skin fake, same as yours. So. Yeah. yeah. So good. <laughs> Yeah, that was the one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just realized. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think some some women might feel uncomfortable being around. Um, um, it's just the same. Um, it's not going to be the end of the chair. Yeah. 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 Ian Reeves, I don't know if it's there now, but when we lived there, there was a barber shop that would not let women in at all, even to sit down to wait for them at the house. They, they would not let them in. No. There was, I think there was an instance of it, obviously, social media and reports and everything, but obviously it wasn't accepted, but they wouldn't allow pregnant inside and wait for them to partner. Um, they made us sit on a chair outside because they were like, no, this is like, that, that's our brown room. Like, and they were just like, we were really comfortable in here talking about like, um, whatever, like, they wanted to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then when we went to health problems and things like that, which is fine. Yeah, we just did a rinse on the day Yeah. <laughs> But that was like round kind of so you're a teacher that doesn't like you or something. That's why it's a bit different in that regard. I personally didn't find that exactly. Yeah. And their argument was you don't like either to come. As a male or female or anything. And then also they wouldn't like female barbers work there either. Um, yeah. As I said, yeah. I don't know if it's around anymore, yeah. but yeah. that did happen. That's really interesting about something like that. Do you reckon that has a lot to do with society as well? Uh, what, the fact that they thought that there was like a niche in the market for all of that, or the fact that it's not there, or it might not be there anymore because of the different social pressures? Like, the niche in the market kind of thing. I think they had an idea in their head and they thought, oh, I think it was done with good intentions. <laughs> I think it's a good one. 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 Oh, yeah, I know. it's not when you turn off and there's every sort of faulty thing, and yet they will allow you to ask you to that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can we say no to uh, Mayor Box and Honey Highlights because of, um, not that we can't do it, Jim, like, we can do it, I don't really want to do it, and I don't specialise in that, it's like asking a pastry chef to do uh, a gravy, because it's like, <laughs> yeah. no, it makes sense, yeah, so they can do it, but last time they did it was too, five years ago. It's not going to be the best video. Yeah. Crazy about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good analogy. No, <laughs> <laughs> and we want to make sure we're still giving the best yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, from what I've seen anyway, mm -hmm. I feel like it does take a lot of skill, especially for the type of skin face that you guys do. Like, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine going into like a my old hairdressers, for example, when I have long hair, and asking for a skin fade and getting the same results. So like, it is obvious that they're two very different skills. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we practice and we have twenty clients a day each. 